So this is Julia from the Macedon Public Library in Macedon, New York. I'm going to be doing a craft uh, demonstration for you. And um, we're going to be making flower fairies. And I can show you some of the things that I've made in preparation. I have little bitty fairies with flower petals. And then I also, uh, for a special someone in my life, I was making like an army of fairy men. <laughs> And so I have a variety of them. They're all wearing the same tunic. They all have, uh, it's a variegated um, thread. Uh, so they're kind of different things and beads. And I use the little acorn caps for their, for their helmets. Anyway, um, so let me go ahead and share my screen for the supplies that you will need if you want to do this project on your own. So um, we have pipe cleaners. And uh, I hope people have pipe cleaners. I don't know. I always have them around the house for some reason. Um, so some pipe cleaners, and that's going to be the formation of the body. And you use some kind of like an embroidery or craft thread. Um, and I had a, I do embroidery, so I had a bunch of different colors. Um, again, variegated is nice for that. I could not find anything for today. Uh, then we have some little beads for the head, some white, just general white glue. I guess you could use hot glue guns. I'm not very good with hot glue guns. Um, you just need a little bit of glue to help secure the thread at the end and to hold the flower petals on if you want to. Uh, and then you need some silk flowers and a ruler and some scissors for cutting. And there you go. So that's, that's basically all you do. And if you've seen any of my other crafted demo videos so far, that is, I used the basis, the silk that I dyed last week. Um, so you can, if you haven't watched that, you can go back and see how I, how I dyed that. All right, so back to me. All right, so I've got my computer up. So hopefully I can just tip it down and you can watch my hand as I work. So we're gonna see how that works. Uh, all right, so hopefully you can see my work surface. I've got it on another, my table is, kind, is an old white and gold for mica top. It's very pale. So actually, I chose another pale color to go on top of it, a pink silk, but we'll see. Okay, so so this is just a normal, I don't even know what is the size of this. Let me use my ruler. It's just shy of, well, yeah, it's just shy of 12 inches. They probably call it a 12 inch pipe cleaner. So this is going to be the fairy that we make today. Um, this is a fairy that I started wrapping with the thread last night as I was watching an episode of Hunters on Amazon. So I didn't do the best of jobs. Um, you can see some of the orange kind of showing through the green, but that's okay. Our fairies don't care. They'll be happy. Um, here's some fairies that I've already folded. So this is what we're going to be, this is how we're going to start first. Then I have some little beads for head and I have different petals. And I'll even show you how to take apart the, the flowers. I call them silk flowers. I'm sure they're not silk. Uh, but the fake flowers that you can get, I got, I got all of mine at either like a Goodwill store or a garage sale. I don't go to the craft store and buy them because they can be expensive. Um, so I get them secondhand, which is great because then you're just going to be cutting them apart. So who cares? Okay, so to start, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold our pipe cleaner pretty much in half. It, again, none of this is very precise and specific. Just making little flower fairies. So pretty much in half. And then that's where the head's gonna be. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose a bead for the head. And I'm not poking it all the way down, you can, but the the more you leave behind, then the more flexibility you have for, for the length of your body. So from that point, I'm just gonna bend out the pipe cleaners. So now we have the neck. I hope you can see that. And then this is what's going to be the rest of it. So from this point, whoops. Oh, actually, that's all right. That's interesting. I kind of did a loop that way. Maybe that might work better. So from this point, I'm going to measure, this is where we have our ruler, an inch from the neck bend to the outer. And I'm just going to pinch it a little bit to make that bend. I'm going to do the same on the other side. An inch, approximately an inch, and then bend it. So then that's going to be the arms. I'm going to just finish that bend 
and finish that bit. So now we have something that looks like that. All right. The next step is I'm going to open it up a bit. Um, from this point on, from one arm, with your finger in the center, you're going to bend that one down. So it's going to be the, the, the bottom of the arm, and that's going to be the beginning of the leg. All right. Then we do what we do on one side, we do on the other. It's like algebra. Finger in the center. I'm using my, I just have, I don't have long fingernails, but I'm using a bit of my thumbnail um, to, again, finish that there. And now we have a shape that looks like this. And when we use the craft thread, we're going to be whole, that's what's going to pinch it together. All right. So from here, we're going to use a ruler one more time. I like my, so my arms are about an inch. I like my legs to be about two inches. So again, I hold it to the ruler. I pinch it with my thumbnail at about the two inches. One side, then I do the other. And one side of mine is always longer than the other. I don't know. Um, I guess I don't really break it much in half initially, but it doesn't matter. So if you, as you can see, one half of the double fold is longer than the other. This one is longer than that. That's okay. And we can, if we really cared, yeah, this one, we can just fiddle with it a bit. As it's wire, that's what we like about the pipe cleaners inside is they're bendable. You could also just use like a craft wire, I guess, or like a floral wire. Um, but I never have any of that. I always, like I said, I always have pipe cleaners for some reason. So that is, now we have our body. All right, to start out with, I'm just gonna start this one and then I'm gonna move to the other one that, um, that, I, that I was working on last night. And I'll show you how, once you've got all the, the limbs, how you kind of do the, the chest part of the body. All right, so this one, I'm gonna use the orange on the green because I thought that would contrast enough on the video. So I'm just pulling out that a little bit. So to do this, I'm just gonna open it up a bit, but we still have our major markings in there so we can remember what's what. All right, so I've just unfolded it a bit. We're gonna work on one of the arms, doesn't matter which one, but we're going to work on one arm. We're going to go. We're going to go down, and we're going to actually wrap the hand. Hmm, let's see if I can show you one. Someone that's already done. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that, um, but the hand actually I have it wrapped singly, and then at a certain point, then I start wrapping it all, wrapping both of the wires together. So they have like little hands and little feet, and then you can bend them up or down. Well, up. Why would you? bend it down that would hurt poor little fairy okay so I'm going to start with this hand over here I'm just holding the thread because we're going to be wrapping over it so we don't need to glue that part and I'm just wrapping it and again I'm going to be doing this kind of fast because I don't want this video to be an hour long um, the slower you do it the more precise you do it I'm trying to see if you can what's showing up um the less you're going to have the little pipe cleaner fuzz show through now if you if you had your craft thread be the same color as your pipe cleaner that would probably be ideal because then if any of it showed through you wouldn't notice it okay so i have that bit there wrapped now i'm going to fold it up you see what i'm doing and I'm going to hold them together, go back over that, and wrap them as a whole arm. So we've got the hand, now we're doing the arm. All right, and I will show you if I can do this fairly quickly. need some music in the background or someone to talk to. My cat was here earlier, jumping up and down on the table. And because I have all these loose flower petals around, I thought that that was probably not a good idea. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna wrap it around the fairy's neck a couple of times. 
And now I'm bringing the thread over to this side. I'm going to do this one. So I need to get the thread there. So I'm just going to kind of wrap it a couple of times down to get to the hand. So you need to do the hand, the ends of it, and then go back up. All right, hope that makes sense. I'm going to switch it around because I wrap, I am right handed. So I wrap better. And again, you can open. However, if it makes it easier to have it open or if it makes it easier for you to have it more closed, you just need to figure it out what works best for your hands. I need to have something else to talk about. Some list of philosophy questions or something. Share a little bit more about me that you'd probably ever want to know. All right. Yeah, this is going to be messy. And actually, I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I'm covering up. So the fact that I wrapped that around the first time to get down to the hand. Oh, this is very messy. I'm trying to hurry. That's right, this will be our little Northern Irish fairy. And if his green is showing through his orange, that's okay. So we're kind of back the shoulder. We'll wrap it around the neck again twice. All right, now I'm going to start working down one of the legs. So again, just like I did to get to the hand, I'm going to do that just like a loose wrap around just to get down to here what's going to be the foot. All right, and I think I'm going to do a better job. Truth is, I might actually, after this video is over, Rewrap this. All right, so I think you get the idea. You do the hands and the feet before you do the rest of that. Okay, so then you fold it and you wrap. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one here. So you get an idea of how to start. All right, I'm going to move over now to the next, to the one that I started last night. And of course, I didn't think about this, but the thread is very pale. So, so now I've done the arms and I've done the legs. We've got the feet and the hands. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in this body part. And we're going to do that kind of by making a, like a little halter thing. You're going to go diagonally on both sides. I mean, actually, you can, you can make your own pattern for this too. So for the, if you're doing a girl fairy, this is kind of making her top. So do it, first I'm kind of doing a V. You can see that. And now I'm gonna go outside from the shoulder down to underneath the arms. Just kind of do a waist a bit. Now I'm gonna go from here, from the waist up. To the shoulder. And now I'm going to go around the waist once. Now I'm at the other side of the waist. And flip them over so that I can still use the same hand for wrapping from the shoulder down to. You know what? I just kind of thought of something. I've never made. I've the boy fairies that I've made have always been more like elves, I guess. I guess they could still be fairies. Um, but they, I've always just taken some felt and hand sewn, like what I showed you before, a little tunic. So, why couldn't you just take some, some uh, flower petals or something and kind of make like some trunks or like some shorts or some leggings or something for them. Or just actually keep doing more of the craft, maybe a different colored craft thread 
to do um, some leggings. So, or, or even for like the top could be a different color because obviously you can just always keep doing different wrappings of thread um, without having any flower petals at all. I don't know. Could, you can do yours however you want. So I am going to put a skirt on this one. So I'm going to use some flower petals. So the kind of the legs are not as important because they're not going to show as much as the body and the arm because they're going to have other stuff over it. So what have I done at this point? I think I've just glued it. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it. With some scissors and put on, and I'm just using Elmer's glue here. Um, this is even older Elmer's glue. And again, I think you probably use hot glue or whatever kind of uh, craft glue you have. And it's just enough to kind of hold it. And of course, it, Elmer's dries clear. Okay, so there we have my little body. I hope it's showing through okay. All right, and then put a bead on it. And now it's got a head. All right. So next step, if you want to do a flower fairy, then you need flowers. Let me see if I can clear some of this away. So to get the, the petals like this, you start with, like I said, something if you can get it at a garage sale or Goodwill or something. Sometimes you can just pull the tops of the flowers right off. They normally have a plastic thing. Um, you may or may not be able to get it off by pulling. Oh, looks like you kind of can. And it's great that it actually has a hole in the middle because it's going to go, that's how it's going to go over their legs. All right, so there's a little plastic piece that, um, I, that came off the back. And then this is the plastic piece from the front. So now we have some things. Now they, you can put them together like that for a skirt. Um, actually, this these could also be very nicely for wings. If you wanted your, your fairy to have wings. Um, OK, so that was just pulling it off. Let's see what, how these flowers do. This is another kind. These would work really nicely as hats. Uh, okay, that's not coming off easily, so I'm going to cut it. Just going to cut at the plastic stem. And there we go. It's come right off. And just throw away any of that plastic bit. I think I'm going to use that one for the head, for the hat, because that's just like the perfect hat. So something like that. All right, put that one aside. So, so that's how you just you kind of pull it off to use some scissors uh, if you need them. Uh, yeah, I had some white flowers here to do that, but I figured the white's not going to show up. So I do have I have a big collection of loose flower petals um, because I was doing this for quite a while uh, when I was working in a Waldorf school. So um, from there, I've already kind of picked out. I've got a lot of orange and reds so far, and a little bit of blue and purple. So I thought I was going to go with some green and maybe some blue this time. So if the flower petals don't have much of a hole, just take your scissors, kind of fold it to kind of roughly figure out where the center is, and just snip. Maybe make a little cross. Even the ones that have holes sometimes need to be enlarged, because you need to get them over the feet. All right, so that one has a hole now. And give this one a hole. Again, you could just use felt and, and make clothes for your little fairy. That works. Um, I wanted to do some green too. I'm going to take my glasses off at this point. So, so now I'm just cutting extra tiny little slits so that it'll fit over. And it's kind of deciding how you want them to lay. Well, that's kind of nice. Put maybe a purple one underneath. Purple one on top. 
Well, that's it. All right. All right. So this is, what I think, what I'm going to go with. Let's get the other things out of the way. So to get the skirt on, pretty basic. Yeah, you can see his legs are not even. Okay. <laughs> um, you're going to, whichever one is going to be, whichever petal is going to be on top, you want to do that one first, obviously. And you pinch the feet together as close as you can, or you do one foot and then the other through that hole. And very kind of gently tug it up the body. I'm not paying attention to if this is showing up. So you kind of, this is about the time you need to figure out what is the front of the flag fairy and what is the back of the flag. Because you can move the, um, the skirt around until it is the way you would like it. So I, that kind of looks good to me. Then I'm going to do the next one. I'm going to do purple. I've decided that is the front. Yep. All right. I need to make the hole a little bigger. There's my scissors. They're underneath the flower petal. You just don't want to make the hole too big. Um, but you could also just spread the legs a little farther to help hold it on. All right. So, so far we've got that. Put a blue one on underneath. There, I like that. I like that a lot. So I'm going to bend her arms. Bend her feet up. All right. So actually a lot of her. There we go. So that's kind of what she looks like. You can play with her skirt a little bit. If you, if you decide that this is actually definitely how you want it, you can put a dab of glue on the underside of her dress. So that's what I'm going to do, just to hold, hold that bottom petal on. A little bit on the front, a little bit on the back. Um, you could also do that at the top if you wanted, or in between the layers, if you wanted to make sure that the fairy skirt stays that way. But they generally do. So the, um, the, like this one, whoops, let me see if I can grab her. This one with the big puffy skirt, um, I did put glue underneath. Just, I don't know, because I did. Um, but then this other one that I did, I didn't. So her skirt can move around. Oh, there we go. Um, and that's fine too. And again, her it's the hole is not too big and it's not gonna come off her legs. Okay, so now I'm gonna glue down the head. So we don't see the orange neck. A little dab of glue. Put the head on there. Move it around a little bit. And the glue dries clear, of course, because it's Homer's glue. All right, so she's almost done. I just wanted to give her that little yellow hat. All right, so I'm gonna glue that on there. I'm gonna put the glue on her head. Whoop. There's a slightly pinkish part on one end. And so I do not give my fairies faces. That's something that 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 I've just carried over from from Waldorf dolls. So that's that's a little fairy that we just made. To, well, I didn't. I started wrapping it last night, but you got the idea. Um, so it it does come pr together pretty quickly. The more you make, the faster it's going to be. At this point, all right. So there she is. Um, I like them without faces because then the you know if a child says now you wouldn't give this to a, a little child because there's little pieces. Um, the, the heads can come off because they're glued, but they're not glued that strongly. They're really good for um, display. So if you uh, wanted to make like a diorama or something like that, or um, 
we used to when we were homeschooling, following Waldorf style, um, we would have little nature tables. And so we would collect things uh, from nature when we went on walks and then we could display things seasonally. Um, so then you'd have different fairies for different seasons. So like she's very much seems like a summer fairy, very bright, vibrant, um, sunshine colors. Um, and uh, she, I think, would be a spring fairy. The, the tulips and things that are, aren't coming up yet in my yard, uh, a little bit of the yellow on the top, like a daffodil sort of thing. So, and the light colors. So, is there anything else I want to say? Uh, so all together, let's see, she is about maybe two and a half inches tall. You can bend the feet. I, if the, the one nice thing about having long pedals for skirts is that if it's long enough, oh, I had an older one. Um, it actually can stand on its skirt. <laughs> so the skirt helps support it, um, which is nice. Uh, it doesn't always work. So, but you can also make stands for them or whatever. So I think that's where we're gonna be leaving it. And let me put my glasses on so I, so I can actually see now. Yay! Um, okay, so that's Flower Fairies. And um, I hope some of you give this a try. I, again, I just, I had all the stuff because I've made these before and I had all the supplies together in one place, which was great. Um, you may not have beads. You can use other things. Uh, they, and so I've used wooden beads, but they don't have to be wooden beads. Um, the beads, it's, I got them in a collection of just jewelry beads. It's uh, assorted wooden beads. The, it doesn't even say about what size. And that some of them have patterns and some of them are square. And anyway, so I picked through all the round ones. And it is, a, uh, it's a half an inch tall is the head. So that's what I had. And it's got, it's just the perfect size for the bent pipe cleaner. So this has worked perfectly for my needs. Um, oh, I talked about giving somebody wings. What was I going to use for the wings? I forgot. Um, but again, I would just glue them onto the back of the fairy. What was the wings? Was it green? Oh, work it, work it, work it. Okay. One last attempt. So I'm just going to cut that, add some glue. To the flower. Put this on the back. And of course, all of this needs to dry, like for her skirt and for the head. But there now she has, I don't know, I hope the colors show up better. Um, she has white wings. It looks very pale, but in person, it looks lovely. Um, and we will be sh keeping all of our crafts that, that uh, everyone at the Masson Library is doing for videos. And they will be in display in person um, when we open up. And so we'll probably be doing these, these kind of craft and, and reading videos for quite a while. Um, for our online program. So we'll just keep building up all this stuff, which is going to be cool. So here we are for, for flower fairies. Um, maybe we'll do some more for other things. Um, our summer reading is Imagine Your Story. So it's all about fairy tales and folk tales and things like that. Um, so, so fairies are going to be very important this summer. Well, they, I think they're always important because I love fairies. Um, so yeah, so, think, so make some fairies. And if you want, you can take pictures of what you make. Uh, or even if you draw fairies, and you can send them to Macedon Library Director at owl.org. Um, and then maybe we'll get some on our website, and we'll, we'll just share and, and show all the creativity, which is awesome, because I know we're all doing so many different things, and we need some things for distraction and some creative outlets as well. So I hope you try it, and thank you for joining me, and I will see you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.